What's going on guys, welcome to today's video. Now, starting the morning off properly, I am just bought a pair of these. It's the CrossFit Light, T Light TRs, the Mark Bell Power Shoe. Although, the reason I bought them is because I was, I, I'm sh it was Brand Brandon Campbell, I'm sure he put up a picture on Instagram saying he bought himself another pair as they were 50% off. And I was like, alright, okay, cool. So I jumped over to the Reebok site as well. And yep, got these for £32.50. So I got 50% off. So 32 quid for a pair of Reebok shoes. And I've only heard extremely good things about them. So just bought them, paid for them. Posting and packaging was free. So it was literally 30 to 50 all in. They should be here in about two or three days. This is the exact design I got as well. So it's actually a nice design. Christmas came early, guys. So my SPD stuff arrived, so, so today is literally just filled with buying stuff for the gym. So I got myself a pair of SPD knee sleeves, I got the larges, um, and obviously they're IKF approved. And then again I got myself, now these are the brand new ones, these are the SPD Stiff wrist wraps. So SPD, if you're not aware, just brought out wrist wraps, um, and they've got a stiff pair and a flexible pair. Of course, I'm going to be buying them for the bench press. So I got a stiff pair and I bought meter long wrist wraps. So I'll show you how long these are. They literally are like the size of my leg. Hold on, that's stuck. So like, don't know if you can see that. Hold on, I'll try and make it better for you. So like, this is the top. That's the bottom, or I'll put it along here. <laughs> so they're extremely long. You probably get about maybe four or five rev revolutions of my wrist with them. So really excited about that. I've tried them on. They are super stiff. Today we're benching. Um, today against a first really heavy bench day. Um, to work with 132.5 kilograms. Ooh. Work for 132.5 kilos for three sets of four to six reps. Obviously going for three sets of, well, the plan is six reps, obviously. And we'll just see how it goes. Elbows are actually feeling really, really good. There's almost no pain in my elbows anymore. So super, super pleased about that. All right, guys. So hope you've made it to this point in the video. I will not be using any of the new equipment that I have bought for this training cycle. So I will not be using the SPD knee sleeves or the SPD wrist wraps, or my Inzer belt, or my power, Reebok power shoes, because I've started this training cycle, I'm already over halfway through the training cycle, so I don't want to make any midway transitions into more optimal equipment, as I feel that could throw off the training cycle and produce results that I might not, not necessarily um, have, if that makes sense. So what I mean by this is I am working off percentages off of a, I'm working off of percentages based on a number that I've hit in suboptimal equipment. So, for example, my my Ray Ban knee sleeves aren't as good as SPD knee sleeves, or my um, current twenty inch wrist wraps aren't as good as my SPD thirty six inch wrist wraps, or my Chuck Taylors probably aren't as optimal as my Reebok Light TRs will be, or even further, my my ten millimeter strength shot belt won't probably be as good and keep me as upright as my um, Inzer belt will. So I just don't want to make any last minute over halfway through changes into the program that will have a significant benefit onto my training. So I want to finish this off, get the numbers I want to hit with these equipment I'm using and then I want to, in the next training cycle and for meat prep, then I obviously want to introduce the new equipment and make my training as sport specific as possible and yeah pretty much just go from there and hope for the best here you see me improvising it was to do sets of six today so the kettlebell wasn't heavy enough so we got some wrist wraps and tied two fives to it so the kettlebell is a 36 kilogram kettlebell and we've added 10 kilos so that's 46 kilograms so that is 46 times 2.2 is roughly about a hundred and two, three pounds, something like that from the, for those Americans. But yeah, benching is pretty much probably what is increasing the most. It is going so, so well. 
really, really, really excited to test at the end of this thing, and I'm super confident getting the 160. I'm going to try the 160 first, and if it goes up pretty well, I might even increase it further, but just need to cross that bridge when we get there. So, super excited with the way everything's going. Really cannot wait to wear all my new equipment. It literally is like a kid in a candy store. Uh, I just literally cannot wait to... Um, use it and I'm just so 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 excited but I've put them away and I've got to just I'm going to make myself wait till after January not make any midway through the program changes I think that will be negative just keep the way things are I'm really actually liking the lever belt for my bench press I'll probably do a video on that soon I think and then if that is the case then I think I will have to buy myself either a Titan lever belt or a Inzer lever belt as they're the two only belts that are legal in the IPF. So, hope you've enjoyed the video guys, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up, and as always, I'll be seeing all of you guys next time.